did Kurumi just ask if they are from the Dragon Realm? Certainly. And I'm in big trouble for telling <laughs> her about this shit. It feels like everything is frozen in time. Dragon Realm or Rika is smiling, trying to play dumb. What are you talking about? She sounds completely convincing. Wow, that is really... You are an actress, definitely. But then Kurumi focused on me. I squirmed under her gaze, unsure of what to say. You you mean the theme park near Osaka? <laughs> Dragon Realm, are you feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, let, let me try the... Both are really cr good um excuses. Dragon Realm, are you feeling okay? I'm feeling just fine. Although I'm a little bit disappointed. Most humans are much better at lying than you. Oh my god, stop saying at Virika's face, okay? Because... <laughs> oh no, let, let's see what is going to happen. You though, Virika. A marvelous liar. Oh my god, why can't I, get, why can't I get, just get a compliment? Instead, Virika always gets the compliment. No kidding. Kurumi's words suddenly hit me. Wait, so does that mean you are... A dragon? Yes. Virika scowls. I don't understand how that's possible. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Kurumi is a dragon? <laughs> oh god. I didn't pick up on that at all. Nothing. I'm 5,000 years old. I've practiced hiding my true self. And I've also had practice sniffing out others. She plops down on a chair across from us, non kellen and unbordered. I have known you were a dragon since I first met you. Kurumi's eyes lock on me. Well, except for you, of course. You're obviously human. The girl's not in eager agreement. You are 5,000 years old, so I believe like you have a lot of experience in hiding um, your true self and all this appearance. When I passed by the other day, I noticed something was off. You all look upset. As an elder dragon, it's my responsibility to keep an eye on all of you. Oh, um, thank god he's, she's on our side. For a second there, I thought she was going to snitch on us and we all get in trouble. So what seems to be the issue? Someone stole the money we need for rent. We need to get it back, but we don't know how. You are going to trust her just like that? Yep, this is what I'm going to ask her. Who knows she might be the the main villain. We don't even know who she is. Oh, they are frightened. The girls glares at me. Dragons aren't like human. We help each other. We live so long, we would always be fighting if we didn't help each other. I cough nervously. <laughs> If you think this is for the best, Kurumi sighs theatrically. Whoa, her horns! I ran a report on the news during one of the community segments. You will have your culprit in no time. We all heave a sigh of relief. Whoa, this guy's this woman's crazy. He looks like a demon lord or something with those um stunning little horns. I mean fat, chunky horns. Thank you, Kurumi, seriously. You have no idea how much this means to us. Kurumi smiles. I you know who I am. If you ever have any problems, you know who to call. Let's wait and see, you know. If someone <laughs> spot Kurumi with those horns, she will get in big trouble. Kurumi winks at me on her way out of the store. Alright, but don't forget, you owe me one. Sure, let's have some dinner or something. Later that night, we all wait around the TV eager for the news report. Oh, those bats at the background is pretty cool. Those decorations that um, Irohi has done, has done. Well, it's pretty good. Do you think this will actually help find the culprit? I don't know, but this is at least uh, our help Kurumi gives us. We should, you know, try our best to also find. Who knows, we might find the culprit. Humans are fairly benevolent. Maybe he will tur even turn himself in. I um, Irohi... It's not nice for you to say humans. <laughs> you think humans are benevolent? Compared to us, yes. Remember what we say about holding grudge being bad because we live so long? It's also because we don't have police like you do. We use our claws instead. Yep, that's the reason why you keep wanna claw me, alright? Just then, the news report flashed on. Kurumi appears on TV giving a report on our missing money. Can Burning Love be safe from closing its door forever? Burning Love? That's our restaurant? No. Or will you help save the business by reporting what you may have seen? In a short segment, but when it finished, we stumped back into our chair. Do you think anyone will come forward? I hope so. But did anyone actually see anything? I saw- Oh god, it's you again! <laughs> no pun intended. I saw something. 
My heart stops. We all whip around to see you hovering in the doorway, a cocky grin on his face. What do you want? Do you want me to hit you again? Red hot rage boys inside me. You what did I tell you about coming here? I can go if you want. Alright, right. Just hand me over the evidence and I'll let this one slide. But I saw that news report. I'm amazed you got this news to cover your story. I'm ready am. Is she a regular customer? Breka zips forward and grabs Yu's collar. Where is it, Yu? I'll tell you if you go on a date with me. Rika's so shocked she let go of him. <laughs> Finally, it's time Rika get teach a lesson like... <laughs> Rika is always being so rude to me. And now, he brushed himself off a confident, sickening air about him. I just want to go on a nice boat ride with you in about two weeks. I'm not asking for much, truly. What do I say? We don't need the money that badly. She'll never go out with you. That's for Rerika to decide, won't you say? After all, she is a strong, independent woman. That's why I like her so much. Yu looks over Rerika once more, smirking to himself. Yeah, you can actually, <laughs> to be honest, you can take uh, Rerika away. Leave Irugi and Azumi Raha for me. <laughs> I'm evil and selfish, you know. So, what do you say? I knew you were an... <laughs> Whoa, hold your horses, Rerika. You don't have to be so rude, you. But I thought you were a little better than this. I'm waiting. It feels like the air has been sucked out of the room. Rika has paused to think in agonizing silence. I need more time to think. You have under tomorrow morning. Then the offer is off the table. He hands Rika a rose and wave. Where did he pull that from? <laughs> I'll see you all bright and early. We watch him leave completely stunned. Rika, are you... Rika swipes Miraha comforting hand off her. I'm fine. I think we all need to stay here tonight and strategize. Everyone nods. It's about to be a long night. After closing up, the girls insist we head to my place. I did my best to stop them but we somehow ended up here anyway. There's an undeniable tension in the air. I can't believe that little creep. Humans don't consider that charming, right? No. Do you think he stole the money? Anything is possible with a psycho like him. The question is, what do we do about him? Rika takes a deep breath. I think I have to go on a date with him. But you just call him a psycho. <laughs> what if he murders you and bears you in the garden <laughs> and cover you in concrete? Oh. oh god, this is by far the funniest line in this episode. She has been watching Detective Show again. Yeah, Miraha, you are crazy. I'm going on a date. But you are are going to follow us and make sure he isn't up to anything. My stomach still churns at the mere idea of her on a date with him. Look, Rerika, it's not a bad idea, but if anything happened to you, we lock eyes for a moment. There's a spark in the case, a moment of deep connection. Hey, but Rerika looks away, far too aware of the presence of other girls. I can handle myself, do not worry. Her words quiver in the air. Hey, Rika, don't you have those claws? Just slash him if he were to do anything bad to you. She stands up and brushes herself off, clearly uncomfortable. Look, enough of this. My mind is made up. Let's just enjoy the night, okay? Irhi bounds to her feet, hand claps together with joy. <laughs> Irhi, you are so fast to change your mood. <laughs> That's so not you. Let's make this a real human sleepover. I think Irohi is watching too much movie or something. Let's have a philo fight. Hey, that's for kids or something. We don't do that here. <laughs> Just imagine philo fight. Taking a pillow and hit your horn. There will be all those feathers and dust all over and someone must clean up. And have to pay for those um, new pillow. What are you crazy? Pillow fighting. That's the worst thing you can do. Why would we want to fight pillows? Okay, everyone is watching. Before I can get anything else out, the girl each grab a pillow. Hey, take it easy, like I said. It is not a good idea that once a pillow connect with your horn, it's game over. We have to do sweeping and tons of crazy things. And have to pay for those damages. I freeze, the only unarmed one in the circle. This is not how I pictured my night going. I dive behind the girls and snag the pillow. What do I aim at? Uh, let me see, let me see. Definitely Mireha. 
Just to uh, see what she would do, I swing the pillow at Miraha. She dodged at the speed of light. What? <laughs> and then slam a pillow into me, knocking me on the ass. <laughs> okay. It's not nice to sneak attack people, Orange. How do you do that? You're the least coordinate person I know. She smirks proudly before feather starts flying again. Okay, it's pretty funny, not gonna lie. Those author is doing a great job. After a painfully long pillow fight, we all settled in for a movie. The girls around me growing sleepier by the second. They cut up in bed looking so cute I can hardly stand it. Let me guess, four person sleeping on a bed, are you crazy? When they start to yawn, I nervously stand up. I can't sleep here with them, right? Where, where are you going? I just, uh, you're going to sleep here with us, alright? You're crazy! <laughs> sleep on the couch. I gotta sleep on the couch, guys. I'm sorry. I plow down on the couch, ready to finally get some shut eye. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing again? What are you doing? <laughs> well, suddenly the girls power on top of me. I wiggle trying to get off from the under. I thought they were trying to ambush me again. Oh, so you get the comfy couch. What about us? They giggle as they squish me more and more. Can't breathe. You should have thought about that before you stole the couch. Hey, you want the couch, you can take it, alright? The next few days go on like usual. I gotta go to school, try to avoid you and then go to work. We've gotten a lot of tips on who stole the money but none have panned out. I hope Rika isn't too worried about you. Just then Rika pops out of the cafe and grabs my arm. Just the human I was looking for. We have the afternoon off. Really? Why? We have a fireworks show to go to. Oh, all of us? No, just you and I. Oh, Rerika. Wait, what about you? The why you? What about him? What do I say? Um, yeah, like a date? Let's not call it that. Huh, Rerika, I know you're up to something, but you know, uh, I'm kind of feeling um, a little bit more better for you. I mean, you have done a lot of things that made me not that hate you anymore. Just take a look at the first episode where you just keep wanting me to die or something. Wow, I hate you so much, but now we are good. I like you even more, Rebecca. Let's call it a practice date for my date with you. <laughs> Is that all? Rebecca playfully shoved me aside. Don't get your hopes up. Ah, just, just when I, I'm starting to like you, but you're getting all cranky again. I wait in the cafe back room while Rebecca gets ready for the date. Every nerve in me is vibrating with excitement and anxiety. Well, I can't possibly be worse than you. Son of a egg eating dragon gobbler, what are you talking about? <laughs> what happened, Samo? Rika's anger calls from the bathroom launch me to my feet. Rika, you okay in there? Rika pops her head out. I don't know how humans do this. Do what? Their hair. I don't know why I can't do it. Do what? She looks frazzled, sad. You mean tie your hair or something? What do I do? No, show her a guide. I'm not going to help Rika. Here, I have something that will help you. I pull a guide on my phone. Rika looks down at it, perplexed. She starts to do her hair and then hesitate. Though so you don't do your hair ever? All dragons don't do their hair? Wait, put braid 6 over braid 7. Which one is this? I think you're holding braid 3 and all this. Oh, so they're talking about hair stuff. How did I get 7 and these? We painstakingly try and follow the guide. Each direction more convoluted than the last. This this background looks so familiar. I've, is this the my sweet bully um one? I think it's almost the same. Yeah, I can guarantee this one is um, also almost the same to the girlfriend game that I play. It's The name is called my sweet bully. Ha, ah, they're... They keep reusing the artwork. Naughty naughty. Later, we arrive at the firework festival. It's stunning, breathtaking. There are lights and magic everywhere we look. Whoa, Rika has a childlike excitement written all on her face, unlike anything I've ever seen before. Whoa, this one is really stunning. I will give him, give her a 10. Wow. <laughs> but suddenly, that smile fades. What's wrong? What the hell is he doing here? Oh god, is it you? I glance over. To all my horror, you is walking ahead of us. Wait, wait, what, what happened? I'm sorry, man. Oh no, this is the worst. 